I'm trying to program this thing. Where's the one dot part? Where's the period? Hey guys, George at Soundtracks. Today we're going to talk about index CVs and what that CV 1.257 or 1.303, 2.513, what does all that mean? So index CVs were developed by the NMRA. A few years back, they realized that us as manufacturers were innovating and giving you more and more features every time we released a new decoder or a new firmware for a decoder. Now what was happening was every one of our DCC systems is structured in such a way that we can program up to 512 CVs. The NMRA realized as our manufacturers are innovating that we were quickly going to run out of CVs. And so with only 512 to play with, the, there were two options. One, implement a way that we could make these backwards compatible, or two, force everybody to buy a new DCC system that would allow us to program up to 1,024 or even 2,048 uh, CVs. So the NMRA chose to go with the backwards compatible, so that way we didn't have to replace all of our DCC systems. What the NMRA did was they invented this method called indexed CVs. So the way this works is in Soundtrack's Tsunami 2 and Ekonami decoders, we program CV32 first, and this tells us what page we're working on, page 1, page 2, or page 3. Then we program the CV that is listed in the second half. So let's illustrate this. So first, we're going to program CV1.257. So first, we're going to take CV32, and we're going to set it to a value of 1. Then we're going to program CV257 with our command station. Now if I was to program CV2.257, I would first set CV32 to 2, then I would program CV257, and it will mean something completely different in the decoder. Now with this method, CV32 can be set from a value from 1 all the way up to 255. Now with CVs 257 through, two, or through 512, that actually gives us over 65,000 choices of CVs. Now I hope we never get that far, but it does help us know that our current DCC systems are going to be backwards compatible with any other innovation that us as manufacturers are able to give you as the operator. Now it is important to note, once you program CV32, you don't need to reprogram CV32 every time if you're programming a group of CV1 dot whatever CVs. You set 32 to 1, program CV257, 303, 512, whatever. Then when you program CV2.257, then you change CV32 to 2, then you can program 2.257, 2.303, and 2.512 as needed. Now in Soundtrack's products, our Tsunami 2 and our Ekonami product, Page 1 is actually used for all of our function mapping CVs, and this allows you to put any function assigned to any button. You can also set sounds and functions to be come on automatically. Now on page 2, CVs 257 through 512 have a few different things in there. One of them is our secondary audio mixer, which allows you to have secondary set of volume mixers for each of your sound effects, so you can have a different sound effect volume levels for club and home settings. And in page 2, we've also got our dynamic digital exhaust CVs set at the higher CVs, 2.503 and higher. And then on page 3, we've actually only got a few CVs, most of them dealing with clickety-clack, and on our diesel decoders, we've actually got some unique turbine CVs that are set there for you. Now for more information on what we've just talked about, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com and go under the Manuals tab and you're going to see active manuals for all of our current product explaining all of the features we've talked about today. Now if you get stuck or need help, our support department is a phone call away or an email away. If you call 970-259-0690, press extension 22 and you'll get Josh or myself on the phone. If you'd like to send an email, send us an email at support at soundtracks.com. Now, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. And also, please comment below if you have any questions or need some help. Thank you for watching.